What's up, I'm Mark, and welcome to Epic Confections. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new epic videos every single week. This week, Dan from Man Cake reached out to a whole bunch of us and decided, let's make one of those trending Jello Island cakes. So, now from what I hear, these cakes are a f***ing pain in the ass. So, I don't know how this cake is going to turn out. I'm really scared, but we're going to try it. If it's a fail video, it's a fail video. We all learn, right? So I'm so happy to be joined this week with Dan from Man Cake, Lorelai from Cakes with Lorelai. This is Lorelai's book and I love it, so you should definitely go purchase one. All right, let's get started. So to start, I started with two 8 inch round chocolate cakes. I cut one in half and put some buttercream on my board so it wouldn't stick. And then I just started carving my cake into the shape of a rock and started applying some other layers of cake until I was happy with the shape. Next, I gave the entire cake a coat of chocolate ganache and stuck it into the fridge for about a good hour. I did also put a layer of ganache on the entire bottom of the cake board. So while my cake was in the fridge chilling, I took the remainder of my cake and I broke it up and I added in some buttercream and some chocolate ganache as if I was making cake pops, sprayed some Pam on my hands and I started mixing that all together and I started to shape my snake head. Once I was happy with the shape, I gave it a quick coat of buttercream and stuck it in the fridge. I then took my cake out of the fridge and it was somewhat firm and I gave the entire cake a coat of chocolate buttercream and then of course stuck it back in the fridge to harden up. I then gingerly took my snake head and placed him on top of the rock that I wanted him. Then taking some more of that cake scraps or cake pops, I made a long cylinder and that is actually going to be his body. So then I put a whole bunch of pieces together, about four pieces, and I shaped his body. Then again, another coat of buttercream. I then took a small piece of acetate and dipped it in my hot water and it really gave a smooth texture. That cake was in the fridge for a good two hours to really let it harden up. I then pulled it out and started painting the rock with a little bit of white liquid gel, green liquid gel, black and brown. And I just applied it with some paper towel. Everything you saw there was done last night. I let this sit in the fridge overnight for a good 12 hours to really harden up. It's the next day and now we're shooting the video. So here it is, it's really nice and firm. I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with the shape of the snake. What I'm gonna do now is kind of smooth out the sh snake. Sh smooth out the snake as best as I can, add some texture to it. Um, and I'm not gonna add a lot of color because I'm scared when I pour the jello um, that that color is gonna run and bleed into the jello because I've seen that on some other tutorials. So I am gonna leave the snake. Uh, basic brown, um, but we'll see. All right, let's smooth out the snake. So I'm just taking a dry paper towel and very gingerly going over my snake, just kind of smoothing out some of those creases. Now for the scales, I'm just taking a large tip, piping tip, putting it on my finger, I am just gingerly pressing down on the snake and I'm going to be making all these little tiny circles all the way on its skin. So you're probably not going to really see the snake's body underneath all, underneath all that jello, but... Oh hi Tigra! What are you doing? Yes, it's a snake! No, you can't hunt him or eat him. 
Just switching to a medium open tip and just doing some smaller scaling on his face. Next for his eyes, I rolled out a little bit of black fondant and made little tiny balls and just stuck it in the eye socket. Then just took my Wilton tool, gave him a mouth, and I also gave him a little black tongue. So now comes the terrifying part. Normally when you do these cakes, you're going to have one of those cake pans that have the collar on it that you can easily remove and just kind of place over top of the cake, turn the collar and tighten the cake. I don't have one of those, so I'm improvising, because that's what we do here at Epic Confessions. I have a 10 inch cake pan. Right here, I'm just placing my cake on top of that. Then I went to Michael's and I got some acetate sheets and I cut them and taped them all together. What I'm gonna do is place this around my cake, use some plumber's tape, tape it all together, and hopefully it doesn't leak. Let's try it. Okay, so here it is. I had to get James to help me with this because I was getting really frustrated. But, um, I mean, when you have to improvise and you don't have the proper tools, this is what it looks like, okay? I'm actually happy with it. It's not a fully round circle. I mean, it's the best that we can get right now. Hopefully when that liquid gets in there and kind of solidifies, it does push it out a little bit more. Um, but either way, I'm happy with this. It's nice and taped up. I hope it doesn't leak. Um, Let's go ahead and make some jello. One cup hot water. Adding my jelly. We're adding the jello, I should say. Just stirring that up until it dissolves. And then I'll be adding my cold water and my extra gelatin. Just adding in one cup of cold water. Also adding in two tablespoons of gelatin. Stirring that up. Now because I added the gelatin and I kind of mixed it all up, you're going to notice a whole bunch of foam bubbles on top. So I'm just going to let it rest for a minute and then I'm going to scoop away all of those bubbles. So I'm not really digging this blue color. Um, I mean this is water snake. He's supposed to be in kind of murky water, not like sea blue. So I'm going to add in a package of this green color and just kind of see what color we get. I forgot one last thing before I pour my jello in. So I bought these little chocolate rocks from my local bulk store. <clears throat> They're really cool, they look like rocks. And I'm just gonna place a few randomly wherever I want. All right, so next I'm gonna be taking a ladle and just scooping it into the bottom of the cake and hoping for no leakage. Nobody likes to leak. So while that was setting in the fridge, I did some running around, grocery shopping and stuff, which is why I did a costume change. Anyhow, we are going to pull this cake out of the fridge. I already took a peek at it. I'm not really loving it, but what can you do? Okay, so here it is. I just took it out of the fridge. A uh, couple things I've noticed already. The color, it's not clear at all. So if I were to do this cake again, I probably would just use gelatin mix and dye it a really, really, really light blue um, instead of using the already dyed prepackaged jello. Um, I mean, it's a really cool cake. I'm just not happy with the way it looks. But anyway, let's attempt to take off this plastic acetate.
So, I mean, here it is. The, you know what, I think adding the gelatin into the jello definitely made it set a lot better, so I'm really glad I did that. Again, if I were to do this cake again, I would probably just do a gelatin mix because then I could really kind of make it clear so that you can see the snake. Um, yeah, I mean, I like it. I'm not happy with it. Um, I mean, I would probably go in and add some rippling around the snake, but I'm not even going to just because I'm not really happy with this cake. Um, the rock looks really cool. I really do love the snake head detail, but again, if I were to do this again, I would make some changes. I'm glad I got to do this cake. I'm glad I got to try it out. I'm glad I got to collaborate with some amazing artists. But yeah, here it is. I hope you like it. If you like what you saw, smash that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new epic videos every single week. Thank you all so much. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you all next week. Mwah!